Welcome back to Explaining Everything, the channel where we uncover the fascinating stories behind the things you use, see, or hear about every day. Today's question comes from one of our viewers, Zoe Blossom76. Thanks for your suggestion, Zoe. You asked, who actually invented the internet? The internet is such a huge part of our lives. It's where we scroll endlessly, share memes, and, let's be honest, procrastinate. But where did it all start? And who can claim the title of the internet's true inventor? Spoiler alert, the answer isn't simple. It's a tangled web, pun intended, of brilliant minds, government projects, and happy accidents. So, let's untangle the story of how the internet went from a military experiment to the thing that lets you binge watch YouTube at 2 a.m. Right here on Explaining Everything. To understand where the internet came from, we have to go back to the 1960s. This was the height of the Cold War. A time when the U.S. was worried about Soviet attacks, especially on communication systems. Imagine trying to run a country without phones, radios, or telegrams. Scary, right? That's where ARPA, the Advanced Research Projects Agency, came in. ARPA's job was to make sure the U.S. had a communication system that could survive even if parts of it were destroyed. Their solution? build a network that didn't rely on a single central hub. If one part got knocked out, the rest would keep working. This idea became ARPANET, the grandparent of the internet. And it worked, kind of like a spider web. If you break one strand, the rest stays intact. Pretty cool, huh? But how did ARPANET actually work? Enter the concept of packet switching, an idea pioneered by Leonard Kleinrock and a team of researchers. The idea was simple, but genius. Instead of sending one giant block of data, you break it into smaller packets. These packets travel independently and reassemble when they reach their destination. Think of it like sending a pizza, but instead of delivering the whole box, you send each slice in a separate car. Weird, but it gets the job done. Without packet switching, the internet would be, well, not the internet. Fast forward a bit to the 1970s, and two legends step onto the scene. Bob Kahn and Vint Cerf. These guys created TCPIP, the language that allows computers to talk to each other. If the internet is a massive party, TCPIP is the DJ making sure everyone's on the same beat. Without it, your computer and your Wi-Fi router would just sit there awkwardly, unsure of what to say. Thanks to Khan and Cerf's work, ARPANET evolved into a system where networks could connect globally. By the 1980s, this was starting to look a lot like the internet we know today. Okay, so here's where things get a little confusing. A lot of people think Tim Berners-Lee invented the internet, but he actually invented the World Wide Web in 1989. The web is what allows us to browse websites, click links, and share ridiculous gifts. Before the web, the internet was like a giant library with no signs, maps, or bookshelves. Tim Berners-Lee came along and said, hey, what if we added a filing system? And boom, the web was born. So while Berners-Lee deserves massive credit, he didn't invent the internet itself. He just made it way more user-friendly. Here's something not many people talk about. The internet wasn't built by just a few famous names. Tons of brilliant people made it possible. 
Take Radia Perlman, for example. She created the Spanning Tree Protocol, which keeps large networks from getting tangled up and crashing. Think of her as the traffic cop of the internet, making sure data flows smoothly. Then there's Elizabeth Jake Feinler, who managed the early directories of the internet. Before search engines existed, she was like the human version of Google. Without her work, finding websites would have been like trying to find a needle in a haystack in the dark. And don't forget all the engineers and coders who created early browsers, software and infrastructure. They're like the backstage crew of a rock concert. Rarely seen, but absolutely essential. So, why do people always want to credit just one person? It's probably because we like simple stories. The internet was invented by a giant team of researchers doesn't roll off the tongue as easily as Tim Berners-Lee invented the web. But the truth is, innovation is messy. The internet wasn't created in a single eureka moment. It was a team effort that spanned decades with contributions from all over the world. In a way, that's what makes it so special. The internet reflects humanity itself. Complex, collaborative, and sometimes a little chaotic. Fast forward to today, and the internet is everywhere. It's in your pocket, on your TV, and probably controlling your smart fridge. It's how we work, learn, and yes, procrastinate. But let's not forget where it all started. A Cold War era experiment to make sure people could stay connected. The fact that it turned into the ultimate meme machine is just, well, a very human twist. So, who really invented the internet? The answer is a lot of people. From government researchers to university scientists to unsung heroes who solved impossible problems, the internet is the result of decades of teamwork. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, if you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for tuning in and join us next time here in the channel that answers all the why, what, who, where and how questions you've always wondered about. Here on Explaining Everything.